I was told about, uh, I believe it was about two raw meat. I'm able to get a companion from down in the caves. I saw a video where a guy was walking around with one of those massive wolves. So I'm guessing that is how I'm able to get a wolf. Holy fuck, wait, when did I lose an arm? <laughs> I'm so glad I don't have that fucking tapeworm anymore, hey? Oh. What? This guy just came out of nowhere. Oh, it's that thing that's like oozing all the fucking... Alright, maybe we can talk to this guy. Shriek like a cave known. Shriek like a cave mother. Alright, this looks like a cave mother, and she obviously knows that I'm probably not a cave mother, so if I shriek like a cave known, like I kind of look like, she might leave me alone. It seems to have no effect. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, let's try... What the fuck was that? Hold on. I saw that, you can't fucking hide from me, what the shit? What was that? Hello? What? What the hell was that? Alright, I don't feel safe in this hallway anymore. There we go. Alright, look, there's a... Oh, hey! This is what I was looking for. Let's give it some rotten meat. Okay, let's do it again. I'm liking this. The beast already takes it without a worry. Huh. Why have I not tried that out? <laughs> I don't like it all. Let's see, what skills does it have? It doesn't have any skills. Alright, Moonless, you're with me now. Alright, let's go in here. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> let's do the arm so I can't like swim around and shit. Okay. Extra turn, nice. Ah, oh, it's blind. Good one. Uh, I'm gonna have that red and blue for myself. Looks like its tongue's getting ready for something, so I'm gonna attack it. Good job. Oh no, he's dizzy. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. How come I can't do that with a door? Oof. This shining object was a stone crown. The crown is made of some finer quality stone, which makes it shiny. But the crew design suggests it's not worth much. 51. A crude crown sculpted from stone. The style of the crown suggests primitive culture. I'm sure the mayor would love this. Yeah, let's get it. Alright, come here you fucking Doctor Strange looking piece of shit. Ooh. She clearly doesn't like the presence of the yellow mage. Okay, that's right. Let's take its wand away from him. Hopefully that's like the only thing giving him powers. Are oh, you doing well? Oh shit! That's how it's done. All right, so this is the elixir of the mime. However, in the last video, Mothify did mention that you can get a recruiting item by one of the mages. We have to take away all of its limbs first and then talk to him instead of just killing him. I'm not sure how well that's gonna go with Moon. Bliss <laughs> over here. Cause I think as soon as I get rid of all of his limbs, 
Instead of being able to talk to him, Mulus is just gonna go straight for a head attack. Let's do it. Oh, I got him. Alright, you go easy. I don't wanna have to worry about you killing him. Alright, it's beginning a ritual dance. Just in case his arm has something to do with the- Alright, lost the left paw. <laughs> Shit, okay. Let's get rid of the, uh, get rid of the leg. Oh no, I'm so afraid. Moonless is gonna die. Alright, I got your limbs, boy. Now can we have a civil conversation? What are you doing here? This is part of my training. Well, you're not going to be training for much longer, I'll just let you know. I'm still too ignorant about the greater scheme of things. Which gods do you serve? I channel destruction, so isn't it obvious? Okay, so Gregoroth. You're not completely misguided. No. I've been doing my research. Why serve Gregoroth? Traces left of Gregoroth are the strongest among older gods. No other ancient being is still so vivid in this day and age. Like all mages, apprentices, and priests, I strive for personal growth and for greater power. Grogoroth has the most to offer, and you cannot please all of them now, can you? Can you teach about Grogoroth? Could I have that lost limb power that you got? I'm not at a level to pass on knowledge of such matters. Seek out my master, Nazra of the East, if you desire to learn more. Oh shit, we've already spoken to Nazra. If you are to survive my blood magic, show this talisman to my master and show great humility. Might just listen to you. Do I have to kill you though? Do you really want to die that bad? Oh fuck, there's two of them. Yeesh. Okay. Come on, Moonless. Ah, oh, you fucking dick. That was my dog, you piece of shit. I missed him. Was this a bad idea? I think it was. Oh, it was a huge bad idea. Oh my god, we're taking a beating. I don't know, man. <laughs> Was that even worth it? <laughs> we still defeated it first try, but uh, we did way worse than last time. Alright, with this amount of health, I don't think firsting the mage would be a smart idea. We'll go to the Pokemon Center. I think now would be a good time to use it. 12 seconds later. Oh, it works on Moonless as well. And I did it, uh... Ah, oh, no, I still got a broken bone. Not cool, game. Alright, so I was expecting the Pokemon Center to help me with my broken bone, but it looks like it didn't, and it's kind of what I feared. But it looks like either we're gonna have to do a marriage again, or further down the line, we'll meet someone called the Lady of the Moon, and she should be able to completely heal us. Now we got the talisman. Cool. Thanks for your help. Alright, let's try not to die. I wonder if we can just get around him somehow. Around his friend. Hey man, how's it going? Can I uh, throw something at him? Like a stone? A throw? No, no, no. <sighs> Alright. This is a very intense staring match that we're in at the moment. Alright, he's only got a rock. We take this away from him. And he's useless. Okay, cool. I don't feel confident enough to fight his friend right now. Let's take another stone. I'm not sure if these are going to be useful at all. What do we have here? The smell of gore emanates from below. You can hear faint sounds of growling and moaning too. Let's throw a stone down it. Stone hits something fairly close by, but the drop does seem a bit daunting. Yeah, okay. Uh, heads. Come on, heads. 
Yes. Fucking long sword, bro. Oh shit, it's more shit than my morning star. Don't worry about it. Alright, let's go up and around. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Take that. Oil, yeah, cool. Uh, cloth fragment and a stick. Those must be cabbages, yeah, they're definitely farming down here. I can't reach it though. Oh, is that a mage? That's a mage type one. I want to get around them somehow. Can I keep going up here? Oh my god, they're everywhere. Boom, boom. <laughs> Alright, I think we just completely fucked ourselves. I don't see any way of us getting back through there. Hold on, he didn't see us. Let me take this. Some kind of ritual statue is standing here. Might just be your imagination, but it almost looked like the thing moved in the corner of your eye upon entering. That's some creepy shit. That is a mouse. Huge creature is lying here, dormant. Okay. Is that it? Do I have to go back? There's nowhere else to go, and I don't really feel like going back either. This guy looks like a hard guy to beat. He's got that. Alright, let's just go back. This way? Oh, keep going. It's a dead end. Mysterious object standing on the pedestal. It looks like a mother cube from fucking DC. The object is an ancient looking cube with ornaments and decorations twisting around. The cube gives you a certain unnatural aura. Alright, let me take it. The cube of the depths feels a lot heavier than what you expected. But is he not chasing us anymore? Did he just go back to his normal life? Oh, no. He doesn't like us. Okay. Yep. Alright, let's go this way. Go around him. <laughs> oh! Oh no. Got in the fight. I really don't feel like dying just yet. We can come back. Oh no, there's a kid up there! Okay. Fine. Let's attack it. Alright, we didn't have too much to worry about with that guy. Okay, it's okay. Hey there. There's a cave dweller child sitting here. He seems to be staring at the distance and completely ignores you. Can I talk to him? Rotten head in the grasp of an ornament hand. Human sacrifices seem to be a common theme around here. Ah, oh. I wonder if we had something we could like recruit this cave dweller. We might have to come back for this dude, and I am sure we can use this rope for something. All right, we're doing pretty well so far. Now we got a rope if we need it to send anywhere. Him? That didn't work. Easy. Ah, they never have anything of value on them. Here we go. Cloth. Nice. Another cloth. Blue vial. There's a crude notebook on the table, but its contents remain mystery to you. The writing consists of random symbols that lack all finesse. Right, she doesn't know we're here. Our knife. 
Surprise attack. Scroll of the Highwaymen. That doesn't look too bad. Easy. Alright, we're doing this. Let's check out that scroll. Find the secrets of dashing and speed running. A? Eh? eh? What, did I, what did that do? <laughs> did that give me a skill? Here we go, dash. Your movement speed increases greatly. Running can prove out to be a real valuable skill. Nice. Thank you, Pinecone. I think it's so useful. I think, like, it's now just a part of me, I believe. Like, I don't have to have it equipped, but because of the marriage, it is now my character. Soul stone, that's alright. Oh, fuck yeah, bear trap. Will. And an explosive file. Oof! Oh my god. Huh. This was an easy way back. Can we get a random now? I went the wrong way. Alright, if he turns around and just walks off, we might have luck with setting down a bear trap. Yeah. Oh, of course, he walks, like, right around it. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Back this way. He sees me. Yeah! What you gonna do now, buddy? You can still attack him. Let's go. He doesn't have any legs. That missed, too. Oh my god. He doesn't have any legs and we're still missing him. Oh, you didn't want to do that before I got fucking poisoned? <laughs> Alright, cloth fragment and also... Oh no, I don't have anything for poison, do I? No, I don't. Okay. Oh, ritual spear. Well, I guess now that's ours. We got something out of that. Yeah, it's not too. Defense goes down to 36. The tip is coated in poison, though. I think that's a good trade. Alright, cool. We'll save and then try and go down that hole, I think. Alright, I think we did pretty well on this one. We were able to go further into the cave, defeat those mages as well, so now it's a lot easier to get around there. Um, and we got a couple of things that I'm not sure what to use on, like this cube as well, but I guess we'll see. I am wondering what's going to be down in that pit that's uh, all covered in blood and shit. And possibly check out more of the houses downstairs as well, see if we can find something else.